Here we go. Thank you, Dr. Miller, and thank you, uh, Impact Engineering colleagues, for um, an excellent uh, program of presentations this evening. This Impact Driven Award is in recognition of organizations who understand the vast impact of technology based solutions. This award celebrates those who are committed to working to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals. As we approach 2030, it becomes increasingly clear that providing solutions to underserved markets and communities will require patient investment and a hands-on approach. The Autodesk Foundation has a history of patient investment and visionary programming, supporting diverse organizations that work on the front lines of social impact. The relationship with Engineering for Change, our extended family, it started in 2016 and has grown into um, an impact program that yielded fellows such as uh, Dima, who joined me on the virtual stage earlier. These will be the technicians of the future that will carry this visionary message forward. Personally, I first came across the Autodesk Foundation in 2016 when I was providing global surge capacity for HQ. We were developing a settlement planning toolkit, a collection of tools and products that would guide and support young engineers in the field as they carry out the important work uh, developing shelter solutions and planning settlements. I plucked up the courage to um, approach the Autodesk Foundation and ask them for a couple of Autodesk licenses that would support these young engineers in the field. To my immense surprise, they came back with a fabulously generous offer. And today we have over 150 Autodesk licenses assigned to uh, engineers, architects, and other technicians in a multitude of countries throughout the globe. The demand for these licenses is growing and growing uh, to a point where we now have to prioritize and we ask colleagues why they need them so we, we can assign licenses. Um, it's been an immensely generous um, contribution um, coming to millions uh, and millions of dollars. Um, in addition, uh, the Autodesk Foundation supported us with some training programs because these are sophisticated tools. Uh, this is cutting edge software um, that we do need to uh, enhance the capacity of, of colleagues who, who have possibly never used such tools. So it was a generous contribution to give us additional technical capacity. We also, um, brought the Autodesk Foundation to the largest refugee camp in the world, Kutubalong Camp in, in Bangladesh. Um, Bobby Casey, who's been a great friend and mentor from the Autodesk Foundation, went all the way to Kutubalong, and they developed an inspirational video that in 29 won a gold medal telly award. And I would strongly suggest all of you online to just have a look at that video because it, it clearly outlines the work we as settlement planners and engineers have to do in the field. UNHCR estimates that there are 84 million forcefully displaced people in the world today. 20 million of those are refugees. An incredible 50 million of those are what we term IDPs, internally displaced persons. My current role is the uh, Senior Shelter Cluster Coordinator in Yemen. I am just back from a mission today, actually, to the west and um, south coast of Yemen, where the shifting front lines in this six-year conflict has led to a new displacement of over 50,000 people. We are doing site assessments and we are coming up with emergency shelter solutions. The need for engineering support, the need for technical support, is immense to improve the conditions that I have seen over the last few days. Um, UNHCR is committed to finding creative and innovative solutions um, to support and enhance settlement and refugee problems around the world. Uh, we are facing new challenges every year that requires constant search for innovative technologies and new technical approaches. Um, we need new partnerships with um, international agencies, uh, other organizations, academia, private sector. This relationship with Engineering for Change has been hugely beneficial. Champions such as the Autodesk Foundation are doing incredible work. 
Without their continued support, we would struggle uh, with a lot of these complex technical challenges that we face. It is therefore with great pleasure and deep um, personal satisfaction to present this award to the Executive Director of the Autodesk Foundation, Mr. Joe Spicer. Congratulations, Joe. Joe, it looks like you're muted. <laughs> I was saying some really brilliant, wonderful things. So you'll, you'll um, forgive me if I'm off cadence. Um, John, thank you so much. And, and um, uh, we are so grateful to be a part of this community, <clears throat> excuse me, with um, AME E4C. I remember um, first coming across the organization when I uh, uh, took the helm at uh, the Autodesk Foundation. And um, we've had uh, a really fruitful, engaged relationship um, over the last seven or eight years now. And many of the, the presenters and award winners today, including Carol, John, um, Iana, Bridges to Prosperity, these are the people and organizations that we've been partnering with for many years. And it really is a wonderful community. Um, and so thank you, we're incredibly grateful. Specifically, the Research Fellowship Program is an excellent example of the type of work that E4C does, and one that aligns perfectly with the Autodesk Foundation's mission, which is to support the design and creation of innovative solutions to the world's most pressing social and environmental challenges. The nonprofits and, and startups that the Autodesk Foundation um, invests in benefit greatly from the expertise of the engineers, the designers um, that come through this program. Um, and you've seen these examples today, for instance, with Bridges to Prosperity. So we've, we, we've renewed our support for this work. Um, we are ex I am very personally excited to see what innovations emerge from the next cohort. And thank you for having us as a part of this community. Thank you for this award and keep up the fantastic work to create the sustainable, resilient, and equitable future through engineering that we need to see.